Well, joining us now on Encounter is Bishop Robert Muhira of Port Fort Portal, Uganda. Thank you so much for being with us, Bishop Robert. It's my pleasure. Uh, maybe if you could start by talking a little bit about uh, your diocese and tell us a little bit about it. Um, I come from Fort Porto Diocese, which is uh, found in Uganda, western part of Uganda. And uh, this diocese started in 1961. Uh, the first bishop was uh, servant of God, Bishop Vincent Joseph Macaulay, a Holy Cross uh, bishop. And uh, he was bishop from 1961 till 1972. And he was succeeded by Bishop uh, Serapio Buen Magambo, the local bishop from the diocese. And uh, he too was succeeded by Bishop late uh, Paul Kalanda, uh, from whom I took over on the 15th of June, 2003. Okay. And uh, this is a diocese that uh, has a population at the moment of about uh, one million Catholics. Wow. And uh, the rest uh, who are not Catholics are Anglicans, uh, Seventh-day Adventists, and a few Pentecostals, and some Muslims. Uh, uh, yeah. And every year uh, in June, it's the celebration of the Ugandan martyrs. Um, I wanted to talk to you about that, uh, about the celebration itself, but why it's so important to keep the Ugandan martyrs alive and keep that message growing. Yeah, the Ugandan martyrs, uh, uh, the first uh, matters, of course, we have uh, who were killed for the faith. Uh, 22 of them were Catholics, and I think 23 were Anglicans. Uh, these were killed between the year 1885 and 1886 uh, by the, the king of the area called Kabaka Mwanga, uh, because many of them were pages in his palace, so they kind of disobeyed his orders to do certain things. Mm. So he killed them for the faith. They are so strong in the faith, in the, but they believed in Christ. And uh, so they were an inspiration to Christianity in Uganda. So we honor them greatly because they help us to appreciate our faith in different ways, uh, family life, to strive and live a Christian upright life uh, in all ways. So we find that uh, as uh, Ugandans, we cherish the, the, the inspiration that we have learned from these martyrs, the way they died. Mm. And uh, the faith had just been planted in, the, in Uganda. And so when we meditate and reflect on their lives, we find that they are great an inspiration to us as Ugandans. And uh, it's not only Ugandans, but we find that uh, even the neighboring countries, they make pilgrimages to Uganda, and, but the place where the majority of, the majority of them were killed, the place called Namugongo. Uh, this place has been visited by three popes so far. Uh, uh, the uh, first was uh, Pope uh, Paul VI in 1969. Then in 1993, John Paul II, Saint, also came over. And recently, uh, Pope Francis actually 19, no, 2000 and, uh, 2015, wow. he came over to Uganda yeah. to honor these matters yeah. celebrating 50 years of the anniversary. Mm -hmm. So uh, find that even the popes yeah. cherish uh, the, these lives of the Uganda matters. And so it's a great inspiration to us Ugandans and I think the rest of Africa. Yeah, and, and yeah. how important too, and there's so many places around the world where uh, Christians are being persecuted, other minority religions as well, and how important the martyrs' messages uh, to the church and to the world, and yeah, indeed it yeah. is. Yeah. So we we find that um, every third of June is the day that we remember them. Uh, it's also in the uh, Ordo, the church calendar. Uh, it's uh, one of the memorial, and for us, you can see solemnity because of the the way they they they, they died. It's, a, it's a quite an inspiration uh, to us all. And I know here uh, in the Archdiocese, too, in Waltham, um, too, they celebrate every year, too. Are you seeing more people um, finding out more about the Ugandan martyrs in the years that you've worked here? Do you find the message growing every year? Yeah, indeed. Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, when you compare 
the celebration in Uganda on the 3rd of June, uh, people make pilgrimages from all over Uganda coming to this place of Namugongo. You find that every year the number is growing uh. of the pilgrims that come. But they just don't come anyhow. Now we're great, getting a number of those who walk wow. long distances and for days. Like recently in my diocese, we had over 500 people walking wow. about 300 kilometers. So it took about a week. And even every diocese find that there are people who walk long distances. They kind of want to imitate the suffering of the martyrs because this also strengthens their faith. And also they offer different intentions to the Lord through the martyrs so that these can be granted. So I think that uh, the martyrs are really a great inspiration to the people. And uh, some, of course, people come with other different means, by buses, by small cars. And I think that's quite um, something that uh, is challenging people's faith to grow. You find elderly people, uh, mature adults, and even some kids also, they come for this celebration. So. Uh, I think of recent past, uh, the numbers have been counted to close to 3 million coming to this place of the Matters Shrine. Wow. Yeah. That's great. Well, thank you so much, mm -hmm. Bishop uh, Robert, for being with us today. Yeah, it's my joy. Thanks thank so much, you. Kevin. We're going to take a quick break. We'll be back with more of Encounter right after this. Mm -hmm.